There you go, that feels a lot better. <laughs> this is how I've always played it. <laughs> oh dear, this is... I thought I was going to kick the game's ass. Really struggling. I should be able to beat the game. <laughs> I've done it before many times, but I mean, I've had a long break since then. But once you get into the zone, well, once I get into the zone, I can just demolish everything, but it takes some time getting there. There you go, saw that. Can I get this boss in one cycle? Hey, there you go. Easy peasy. There you go, I can line that up now. Hey. So I can't line up that shot. When there's three, I just can't line that up. Uh, line that one up yet. I can line this up. Now it does feel a lot better to play on a th uh, Mega Drive controller. The D-pad is so less stiff. Okay, one little thing left. Gotcha. Easy peasy. It is very pretty this stage. Except for the jellyfish, they're evil. And especially the ones that gravitate towards you. These ones. Like, that is so mean. There's so many. I set this off the screen and I'm safe. Doing a lot better now. Up the dragon. Easy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just allow me to get my shots and get punished. Let's not do that again.
hate these things so much. Oh, I'm getting used to him now, though. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, once you learn how to dodge every attack, then you only really have to worry about um, the obstacles. There you go. The bonus stage after this one is hella aesthetic. It's like pink and magenta. Like the stereotypical vaporwave theme. I mean, this is literally from the 80s, though. So go figure. It's kind of interesting to look at um, the library for the Sega Mega Drive before Sonic 1. Because that's when uh, the Mega Drive really got popular. Well, in the US and Europe at least. Well, North, well, the Americas and Europe. Apparently the Mega Drive didn't do that well in Japan. It was beaten by the PC Engine. And Nintendo. But of course the PC engine flopped everywhere else. I never saw an NES growing up. Never. Everyone had a Mega Drive. Everyone. Oh, I thought I could dodge it. I've been collecting quite a lot of lives though. Heck, I think the Master System was more popular than NES over here. Maybe it just wasn't old enough. Uh, maybe, yeah. Maybe it just wasn't old enough to experience the 8-bit area. That's why I never saw the NES. Is that it? It's just that same attack over and over that it's the boss. Oh crap! I was... I was reading my Discord. <laughs> That's how I get it. <laughs> Come on, hang on. What's up, Peter says Pastor Gaming. 
Uh, not much. Just getting through this game. It's very, very difficult and punishing, but once you get a feel for it, it's really satisfying. Oh my god. Just unlike that. Just unlike that. That's the opposite of satisfying. <laughs> It gets way easier when you learn how to line up your shots in the distance. Because then nothing can even start attacking. But of course that's, that involves skill. <laughs> Something I don't have right now. But yeah, 3D games in the 80s. They were a thing. You know how there's controversy over Doom not being 3D or Doom is 3D or whatever? I wonder if that's going to happen with Space Harrier. <laughs> Space Harrier is not 3D, it is 2D. <laughs> Despite me moving left and right, up and down and firing off in the Z axis. I doubt people, yeah, you doubt people care enough about this game to mention that. Probably, that's probably the case. Like, Doom, massive cultural impact. This game, not as much, not over time. When it was relevant, this game was huge, but since then, even Sega's forgotten about it. Yeah, it's a great 3D shooter, and it's not too long as long as you don't keep dying all the time. Oh my god, I thought I killed all of them. That's what I get, focusing on lining up my next shot instead of actually just dodging. Now I miss all of that. Getting through this. Oof. Is this the boss where it's just a thousand of those enemies? Yes it is, okay. Just go in a circle, just mash the fire button. Oh, I didn't kill all of them. Whatever. Hey, here's the Vaporwave AF stage. There you go. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs>
Yeah, I've been live for 40 minutes so far. I think this is a decent run. I should get loads of extra lives from this bonus stage. That should be enough to carry me for a lot longer. There you go, loads of extra lives. Oh, this one's cool. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he gets to fight a big jellyfish at the end as well. There you go, I've learned how to line it up. Damn, this is aesthetic AF. Like, how aesthetic is this? Not using aesthetic in its literal term, using aesthetic in its trope term. There we go, now I have to fight a big jellyfish. I like the time signature in this song. It's, it's seven, eight. One two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. You cheeky bastard. Get ready. That's why I have to kill them as soon as they appear. Or else they do cheeky nonsense like that. Oh god. Oh, that's rough. Oh crap. I walked into the poop and it slowed me down. You saw my character sampling there. <laughs> I spent so many lives on this level. It's still going. There you go. Boss this. Oh yeah, this boss. Okay. Decahedron? Oh my god, why? <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. This is the penultimate level. Goodness gracious. This is also at level and I've got one extra life left. And the sage ain't even started yet. Oh my god. They're, they're, they're as bad as the jellyfish. Just gravitate towards you. How am I going to get extra life now? Just don't dial him, huh? Oof. There you go, got an extra life.
Who's that hit me? Okay. Ah, oh, this boss. Uh, okay, I guess. Is this safe? Yes, okay. This boss scared me as a kid, because he looks terrifying. There you go. I'm still hoping for an extra life scene, but this is the last level. Oh my god, as if I get hit by that. Oh no. Now I'm super desperate for an extra life, but it's game over on the last bloody level and I have to restart. But when I restart, that should be it. That should be a attempt where I get it. I can't dodge all this. I can't dodge all this. Oof. Not these bastards. Please be the end. Okay. Here's the boss. No extra lives. Yes, I'm nervous. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. Oof. Now for a boss rush. Hopefully I get enough lives. There's no much to say, uh, bonus stages. It's just a boss rush. Which I forgot about, to be honest. If you get in first cycle, in one cycle this time. Okay. If I just had one extra life. Paranoia, yeah, that's exactly what I'm experiencing. <laughs> So, uh, the stages are the actual names of the boss. Because uh, originally it says the sage names, but now it's just saying the names of the boss. Boss rush with naturalize. There you go. Another dragon. Called Brizard. Oh, extra life. Okay. I feel a lot better now. Neo Dom. Hey, got him. No damage. That's great. I can't pronounce that. Manticora? I just call it Tiger. That's what it is, the Tiger the Wings. Kitty. Oof. Scared me. Nearly dead. There you go. Wizard. Okie doke. Hopefully I don't get hit.
I do love the boss designs in this game. They look awesome. They're very random. Every design in this game is super random. It's as if they just went through random clip art and just went like, yep, this is an enemy in the game. <laughs> Another dragon. Medusa. Oh, that's cool. Tomos. What's that? Oh, the loads and loads of these things. I need to kill all of them again. Oh well. Kragon. The 7 8 song. Try and true method of going in a circle. It's like circle shaping in Doom, except vertically. <laughs> oh, two extra lives. That's really nice. Space Harrier 2. Uh, yeah, um, Space Harrier 1 was the arcade version, and then Space Harrier 2 was the console version, even though there was um, Space Harrier 1 for the Master System and then later 32X. And the 32X version is a faithful port. Oh my god. Oh my god, there goes one of my extra lives. <laughs> Love face. Oh yeah, welcome back to the stream, Neo John Rips. Nice to see you again. At least we got an extra at least I got one extra life I'm carrying, so um, that's good. Good insurance. I can probably earn another extra life soon, maybe. Well, I'm actually nearly done with the game, as long as I don't die. I like, I'm really close to beating the game. Like, it's just this boss and then another boss. And I should be fine beating this one. Another dragon. <laughs> I think this kind of dragon is called a long. Even though long is just Japanese for dragon, but I guess Japanese dragon, well, Asian dragons are different to Western dragons. There we go. Dark Harrier. This is where I die and have to restart the whole game. <laughs> Trying to method going a circle. Come on. Ooh. Still it as best I can. Like his regular attack shouldn't hit me, but that attack, yeah, that, he could definitely land that. Come on, just hit him. I'm not too worried with my extra life, but once that goes, once that goes, then yeah, I'm going to be... Oh my god, okay. As I said, now I'm panicking. Now I'm worried. Come on. Just let me win. Let me win. Ugh. 
There you go. Oh, that was that was rough. No extra lives left. But there you go. Been shooting for an hour. The war is over. However, Harry feels an unbearable emptiness rather than the usual satisfaction that results from the successful accomplishment of a mission. He thinks to himself, I'm not the only one with superhuman ability. Space will be doomed if and. Yeah, I get that. Having empty feeling after succeeding. <laughs> Evil minded maniac avails himself of its power for his selfish purposes. The power will be. The power should be utilised for righteous deeds only. Yeah, sure. In order to maintain peace throughout the universe, Space Harry departs once again to do battle with the enemy. GG's. <laughs> Beat the game. I'm happy with that. I'll I'll um I'll be uploading the successful attempt to YouTube. I reckon that's that's worth uploading. But it's not too long as well. But yeah, I really didn't feel like doing a really long stream playing um Need Speed Underground 2, which is what I'm planning to play next. <laughs> maybe Dark Harry was the good guy, says Neil John Rips. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I did just go on an absolute rampage, killing everything in my sight. So I could very much be the bad guy. <laughs> I didn't ask questions, I just started shooting. How comes I don't get an achievement for beating the game? I got an achievement for getting score, but not for beating the game. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I don't think there's any um, 3D uh, shoot em ups that, are, that feel just like this. I think it's kind of unique to the space area. Quite a substantial ending for a 16-bit game. <laughs> yeah. Not as substantial as a Sonic 2's ending. Where you get whole uh, panels of art. Oh, thanks for following, Coincident. Nice to see you here. So yeah, the stream's actually ending ending now. I'm just you know, going through the credits and then uh, that'll be it. Yeah, nice to see you too here. Yeah, I'm starting streaming on Twitch now. Uh, Twitch compared to YouTube, uh, Twitch is far more casual and I can just chill. But with YouTube, I feel like it's more way more formal. Speaking of which, I probably will stream on YouTube. Because I still need to play a bit more Friday Night Funkin' because more content came out. I should play that. But yeah, that's the end of this. So if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching and see you later.